decided to see if the dungeon was still here, but I guess not. Actually, Beryl is here. It seems that the Great Light has dis dissipated, and with it the channel to the spirit realm has closed. Yet the slumbering presence I sense here still feels as if it could. Oh, never mind me, huh. Wait. What if I didn't get that trial chest? I'd be screwed, wouldn't I? Wait. How'd I get in? Could it be it moved back to the original shrine? Yes, it did. It's actually the original... That way, it's not interfering with Hamel's fence anymore. Yes, yeah, so that's good news for the fence. Heh. <laughs> okay, so there seems to be something I can observe here. What? The Zemurian orb glows faintly black. The Zemurian orb is emitting a black glow. Now that I think about it, Professor Schmidt used to make a weapon for us before. Looks like there's only a small section of this that has the same kind of power, though. It may be just a small piece, but three of them would probably be enough to make a weapon. It might be a good idea to search for more. We now forge black Zemurian ore weapons and workshops. Black Zemurian ore shard. Hmm, I don't think I can get them in all of the shrines, in all of the sanctuaries, though. I think only the ones where I have rivalries. Yeah, I don't remember seeing one. I don't remember seeing one in the uh, in the Luna Sanctuary, right? Hmm, what was, was, that, was that the one? I don't remember. Let me check. Yeah, this one has no Zemurian ore. Does the, what, what, does the place where the Zemurian ore should have been is taken up by this mirror instead. The Spectral Moon Mirror. And that one hair color for Reen. Victory in the second rivalry has boosted Valimar's hit points by 50k. It doesn't seem to affect the other though. And really, that's all I get hit points? I was hoping for an all around staff boost. Oh well. I guess it's better than nothing. But I still need to decide on how I should set up everyone's orbs now that the EP orb might be the better choice. Turns out I should use that in order to better spam my healing stuff. Alright, I'm just gonna do quests before doing bonding events this time around. 104 military combat and maneuver, 22, plunging slice. Alright, how am I supposed to improve this attack? This isn't the only one giving me trouble, why the hell is this so difficult? Like I've said a million times, you're, over you're overthinking things, Wayne. It's not just recreating how a move looks from the outside, you need to grasp the logic behind it. Not that I'm in a position to offer much advice. Jessica uh, Wayne, hey, getting a bit of training in? Instructorine. We are in a certain sense. I've asked Jessica to observe me right now. Even though I know she wants to focus on her own training. I'm sorry, Jessica. I'm being selfish. Well, I don't mind at all. In fact, observing her movements is good for my own training. It gives me another approach. I'm sorry I can't offer better advice. The Sliden School does have its share of offensive techniques, but overall it's primarily focused on spears. Any help or advice I shared just ends up being more conceptual than anything concrete. No, it's incredibly helpful. It's proving to be a good reference for my improvement. But the way things are for me right now, it's not so much who's giving me instruction or advice. It's about with myself. I must overcome my limits. I won't keep you any longer, Jessica. You really should focus on your own training. I appreciate all the help. You don't need to worry about me, Instructor Reed, I promise. Wayne. Hmm. He does make some good points. But I would like to tie in Jessica's development too, seeing as she's here and all. Maybe I should call the girls in then. Call them in. Alright, so I have an interesting proposal for the two of you. In the end, there's no better form of training than sparring. So if we can find a way to make your training more meaningful. Just leave it to me, me up to me. Can I get you to wait here for a moment? Instructor Ian? Is he? Grumble, how the hell did I wind up here? Hey, you grumble, Dwoobly, but you were kind enough to help out in the end, were you not? I just thought it would be good to get some exercise in. I'm here for my benefit, that's all. Huh. Instructor Reen, what's... Laura S. R. Satan, Dwoobly the Swift. Does this mean you're, you're going to have a spar? You got it. You and Wayne are going to fight as a team. 
that, go, that's, um... I'll finally have the honor of seeing your sliding school techniques from up close, Jessica. One of my dreams to have come true, thanks to you agreeing to be involved. But what's with this arrangement, Instructorine? Your 104 military combat fencing techniques adopt the forms of the Arsene and Vander styles. And Dubilee's sword technique, the basics of which she learned from the Steel Maiden, shares many points in common with the Arsene style. You'll find much more to learn from them than my Eight Leaves, One Blade style. And the same can be said for Jessica's Schleiden school techniques, of course. Yes, that's exactly right. That makes sense. This is probably the ideal type of training for us. Seems like a real challenge, but that just means that's truly worth doing. Hope you have S-crafts this time. Oof, let's get started. I won't be going easy on either of you. Nor I. I want to see you, both of you reach your new, new heights. It'll be groundwork for your future development. Yes, ma'am. Understood. Now draw your weapons! Show us the strength that dwells within you! Two on two. Yes! <laughs> Ow. What do you have? La Forte. You don't have any orders or items. Oh no. Damn it, I thought I could dodge you. This is bad. Cold nail. Can I even delay you two? I feel like you'd be resistant to it. Well, they're not quite as resistant as before, but still, this is really bad. You two did not do an evade build at all, did you? Let's lower their strength if possible. Got you. Uh, You're mine. You're mine. Seriously, these two. This is such a. This is such a battle slanted in, against me. Complete immunity. Hmm. Man, this is... Why do they have so few crafts? Seriously. Oh, there. Oh. You're Jessica! 
Seriously, how do you end up so far away? This is so insane. Ugh. Zero arts, huh? They're all fully scanned, so I don't have to worry about that. But it really feels awkward to use anyone other than my mains. Hold nail hard. Got you. Oh. Yeah. Got you. There. Let's go, Ram. Roger. Yeah. BP spending is the only. Uh, uh, yeah, using the B rush attack is pretty much my only option right now. They're go clearly going easy on us. Azure Quaver! And even then they're kind of kicking my butt. I know what to do. Or mine! Oh my goodness, I don't have anything. Seraphic Ring. This is my only chance. I can't believe we are still alive. Why could why couldn't you guys learn S crafts? Literally everyone else has it. Now Damn it, they seem to be getting crits way easier than me. But but guess who's almost dead? Oh, got that frozen, yes. <laughs> and got burned, yes. Please, fall. Well done. I'm impressed. Yeah, we won this all pretty much. As long as they don't use their S-Cross at the last minute or something like that. Done. AP conditions met. It's a little scuffed, but whatever. I won. That's enough. I think we just about made it. Right, but we're we're, we're at our limits here. There, and you two were clear, clearly not even using your full strength. You didn't even use your S crafts or inflict many status effects. We both kept up marvelously. I suppose you can say that. And that was pretty brilliant, you two. I hope you both feel like you got a lot out of this. I did. This was a great help. It was nice being able to identify areas that needed improvement. 
I knew you'd do well with it, Jessica. I must say, the stiffness I felt before the match has completely disappeared. Yeah, I could tell just by watching. It looks like you unconsciously absorbed Laura and Dubly's techniques, and even Jessica's too. In any case, it looks like repetitive training might actually be a counterproductive approach for you. I understand the struggle. Learning to let the tension fade from your shoulders is actually quite difficult. Sometimes you simply must swing recklessly, without giving much thought to anything in particular. Thank you, Laura. I'll keep that in mind. You also need to rely on those around you. Take a look around you and you'll find yourself surrounded by many capable warriors. It'd be a crime not to seek their advice. Where are you looking at? Don't give me that look wh who's talking face. I was thinking the opposite, actually. I agree. I was just thinking about that you've changed quite a bit. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, but it's a bit cute, too. Yes, I agree. Anyhow, you've both given me some invaluable experience here. Thank you. Zeus Gem. Sadly, that I cannot double that. Alright, I'll fetch you a Slefner for a drill. Now we have level 2. Okay. Begin training. This one's strong. Be careful. Just run all the way over here. My turn. Charging. Oh, well, this is really just a regular slip. This, this isn't really much different from the last one. Or there being three of them. Just nuke them with an S craft because I know Reno hit hard enough. Oh, I could use that a long time ago. Wow, that that wasn't as bad as I thought. That was phenomenal, everyone. You were able to take down a level 2 type 1, so you do have some skills after all. At any rate, hurry your rewards. Thanks, Dubuli. Remember to diligent in your training. And in any case, you've yet to experience what really makes a Slefnir special. Uh, yeah, I really haven't. It just seems like a st really hard hitting archaism, but that's about it. Hmm. What if I include Dubuli as a member of the team for the next one? What would happen? Oh, man. Type 2, level 2. A worthy foe. Take this! Strike! I'll assist! That appeared to pose little trouble for you. Of course! This much is merely child's play! So you admit your training robots are not actually all that strong. Hmm. That was phenomenal, everyone. You were able to take down level two, two type two. Okay. She says the same thing, even though she was there fighting alongside us for that match. Thanks, Zubilee. Remain indulgent in your training. I'm guessing the next one will just have four slight near per fight. Not, probably not going to be too exciting. Due to the fact that uh, the game gives you so many AoEs, I f it feels like a lot of weaker enemies goes to, uh, is way easier than one strong enemy in some ways. At least in terms of taking them down quickly. They can s If they get a turn off, they can still be pretty deadly, especially if they have link attacks. It's not looking easy for both of them. I just hope they can work together well. Something barring you, Stark? Oh, greetings, Instructorine. Well, Sydney and Kyrie are currently on the service to help the main campus. I'm not sure I follow. What kind of help are you talking about here? Their issue is, is that the Durflinger's medical stock has been depleted to the point where it's no longer enough. We were asking if we could lend any of ours, but we don't really have that flexibility, you see. But Kyrie said he can produce some for us as long as we can find the necessary ingredients. 
I see, he's amazing with that kind of stuff. Yeah, he really is. So it looks like he needs two different ingredients to do it. We have the Durflinger hiding out by what's left of the Sutherland Field Exercise Camp. According to Kyrie, if we head over to the main road on the camp's outskirts, we should be able to acquire both. Asenia happened to be around, so we got to drag along. We've gone down to Gareth to, to each look for an ingredient. When the main campus heard about the situation, Fritz and Ada both offered a pitch in. Those two are always good to help to have. Definitely, but the search doesn't seem to be going well. It might not be appropriate for me to say, but I'm also concerned about the pairs. If Kyrie and Fritz are working together, and Sydney and Ada make up the other team, but... I see, they've definitely never seen experience in the field with their current partner. Right, so I guess all we can do is wait for good news, right? I suppose they'll contact us if they need any kind of backup or assistance. True. Help Kyrie and the others. I'm not so sure about that, Stark. Something feels a little off to me. I think I'll lend them a hand. Oh, would you? That would certainly be a huge help. Definitely, I don't mind at all. I'm free right now anyway. Where are they searching right now? Kyrie's on Hamill Road and Sydney's on Farm By Road. Thanks again, Structure. I'll get in touch with both teams as a precaution. Hey, isn't that... Perry from the branch campus and Fritz from the main campus, if I'm not mistaken. Looks that way. Oh, there it is. This has got to be Zamuria Moss, the same kind the church uses in its special medicines. So this is what we've been looking for. I never picked it out as anything special by myself. Sure is good to have an expert on the team. This, this all took longer than I expected, but at least we're done. Ah, Pleroma Grass, how inconvenient. God, this doesn't look good. We have to do something. Stay back, Harry, you'll only get in the way. Find someplace safe to hide, I'll take care of this. But... Arg. Not so fast. I'll take you on. Wait, I can help. Give me some brave orders. Fritz, be careful! Monkey! She really messed up this time. Fritz, Kyrie, you take on that monster. We'll handle this one. Yes, instructor. Be on guard. It's strong. Going song. I got this. Sure, I forgot to put in the evade tank. I can't believe it. I'm up. Now. Very well. Okay. Let's go. Use my full power. Let's go. Break trip. It's my turn. Oh, healing strike! What? One hit break. Sure. Nice. Very nice. And I'm just gonna whack it to death, I guess. Huh. Yeah! An opening! My turn. Let's go. It's not equipped with anything special. Very well. Yeah. 
Each down. An opening. Now. Hmm. Crap. My turn. Now. Argus, activate. My turn. Yeah! It's down! An opening! Now. Now. An opening! My turn. I kind of want to see what what some of the new S crafts are like. Sinner's Revelry. Time to paint this town red. Gotcha! Up you go! <laughs> Not a bad trick, huh? Eat this! It's the last call. No, he didn't even have Minotaurus Quartz and it did that much damage. But it's only single target, kind of like a Stells. Got no time to waste. All right, got it. Are you two all right? Yes, I think so. No broken bones here. Who that was the relief. So were, were you able to get what you needed? We were, thanks. Uh, yes, thanks to you all. But if we didn't come, you probably would have came back in one piece anyways. Ugh. Brits, you okay? I'm fine, it's just I was pretty damn useless back there. I showed no respect for your abilities, failed to properly assess the situation, and charged in like an idiot. Harry, I'm really sorry for what I said. If anyone was in the way, it was me. Don't be so hard on yourself, Fritz. We couldn't have defeated that monster without you. Besides, I'm used to people making snap judgments because of the way I look, so don't sweat it. We're good. Harry, you might just be one of the strongest people I've ever met. I'll be counting on you to keep me out of trouble. It'll be my pleasure. We had a little bump in the road, but it looks like their bond is stronger than ever now. I'm happy for them. Harry's grown so much that it's almost like he's a different person. Right? He's become a true paragon of Erebonian manliness, I'd say. Instructor, I haven't had the chance to properly thank you yet. I can't imagine what might have happened if you hadn't shown up. You probably would have won, but only after eating a bunch of items. We'll head back to the Durflinger and get ready to mix up some new medicine. If you're, you could help out Sydney or, uh, and Ada, that would be great. You bet. Leave it to me. At least we weren't forced to play as them... Shit! Like in that previous mission. I'm sure neither of them have S-Crafts. It's even worse than the last one. Look at that herd of monsters. Looks like they've got someone surrounded. Come on, we've got to help them. Two gun users versus that many enemies, huh? Hey, they'll try to draw the big one's attention. Use that chance to escape. Don't be ridiculous. You won't stand a chance against that thing. If one of us needs to escape, it's you. Oh, come on. I always want to play a knight in shining armor. I just didn't know it would hurt this much. Anyway, I'll do my best to create an opening. You just get ready to run. Ah! Second form, Gale! You already know Arcane Gale. Okay, so now they can handle a weaker group of enemies. Instructor Reed, I don't believe it! Boy, am I glad to see all of you. Good thing we made it in time. Sydney, you think you can cover us? Sure, these monsters are nothing compared to that brute. Can I count on you for backup, Ada? Do you really have to ask? Be on guard. It's strong. Wait a minute. These are all old scans? I guess? Weird. I don't remember. But uh, scanning someone as high level as you? I guess they're the same enemy but scaled up? I guess. Uh, 
Whatever, just get a new come. It's my turn. Let's see. I need a decent damage increasing thing. It's Crimson Lotus. Ignite! Crimson Lotus Formation! It's my turn! Alright, nice work. Stats updated. Okay, looks like we're safe. Whew, seriously, I can't thank you guys enough. No problem, how's the hunt for materials going? We just found what we're looking for when we got attacked. We're looking for... Bear Claw, a medicinal herb native to Liberal that grows in damp environments. The conditions and plant life around here are similar to Liberal, so it seemed like a good place to look. It's close to the river, so there's plenty of moisture in the soil. Bear Claw, huh? I remember hearing about that in Celtic back when I was a student. For me, it all came rushing back when Kyrie said he needed a spiky herb that looked like an animal claw. I remember Freddy found some when we had fuel exercises in Summerland. Oh, huh, how about that? You got it, Ada? I was just thinking I may have misjudged you a little. But however noble your intentions may have been, I don't think much of your knight in shining armor act. You think I can't handle myself just because I'm a woman? Come on, you know I didn't mean it like that. If anything, I say most of the girls I know are better at fighting monsters than I am. How very enlightened of you, Sydney. No, really, truly yours is a mind free from prejudice. I'm baffled as to how you can still be single. Uh, ow, why do you have to go there? <laughs> For what it's worth, I am grateful. Oh, these actually, actually j say something nice to me? It must have been your imagination. <laughs> this is fun to watch. Yes, they're quite in sync, aren't they? That's a good way of putting it. Do we really stand by as if it's a spectator sport? Dude, just enjoy the show. Ahem, thank you again for rescuing us, Instructor Schwarzer. Oh, hey, have Kyrie and the Aris finished collecting their share? In that case, we've just got to head back to the dirt filling so we can send up some supplies. We'll go with you. They returned to the Durflinger. Thanks to Kyrie and the main campus students, they were able to quickly gather the necessary materials. Your reason will be able to fully maintain our medicine supply. I really can't thank you enough. It's true, we could have never done it without you, Kyrie. Don't mention it, we help each other out in times of need. Oh, come on, man, I told you not to be so formal all the time. Heh. <laughs> well, I take my hat off to you, Kyrie. And to you as well, Instructor Schwarzer. You truly saved us out there. It was all you, honestly. You guys really gave it your all. By the way, there's something that's been on my mind for a while now. Hey, Fritz, are you and Ada, you know? Uh, what about me and Ada? Goodness, Sydney, is that what you occupy your time with? There's nothing going on between us. Why don't we drop this topic of discussion and focus a little more on the task at hand? Well, that's what you meant. Eh, well, it was a very Sydney type of the question, wasn't it? Hey, you can just consider that one of my unique qualities. Hold on, just listen for a second. Now that was a little unexpected, but all in all, everyone seems to have grown closer. After that, Kyrie and Sydney went back to the Courageous with Reen and reported back to Stark. I won't lie, I'm exhausted, but I've never felt more fulfilled. I finally had a chance to put everything I've learned into practice. I can't believe they both ended up in trouble like that. It's a good thing everyone made it through all right. Now, yeah, Sydney seems to be doing just as well as he always does. Gotcha, so Aiden and Fritz weren't together then. Yeah, it looks like I've still got a shot. Now, I won't disagree with that, but you probably should bring things down a notch, if you know what I mean. Okay. There's something going on in Aaron Village, apparently. Ooh, cutscene. Hmm? Whoa, how about that fog? I do remember there being a barrier around Erin Village, but... I thought the Courageous 2 already gotten the green light to enter. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that. Should we call Emma and the is over? Hmm, looks like the barrier is remaining active. Right, should d disable properly for the Courageous 2 when it approaches, but... We're currently being blocked by it, just like any other Imperial ship. Did something happen? 
I wonder, I should probably use a telepathic communication to check in about this. Whoa, the hell? Some sort of magical magic signal, perhaps. Looks like somebody BS to the punch. There's a telepathic message from the village coming through. Just a second, I'll open the window for us. Oh good, I got through. I'm so sorry, Emma. I really should have gotten in touch sooner. Don't worry about it, Nina. So when the world happened? The spirit bays are abnormally active, making it impossible for us to control the barrier. With Rose being away, Dahlia and Aller are looking into it for us. I see, are you still able to get in and out of the village? The teleportation stones are working fine, so if you try coming in from there, you shouldn't have any issues. I'm really sorry, Emma. I'll get in touch again once things are better. Sounds good, Nina. Just concentrate on pulling through, okay? Those abnormal abnormalities with the spirit veins really bar me, but I'm just glad nothing bad happened. If we have the leeway to do so, then we may as well go investigate. We should be able to get in, in using one of those teleportation stones, right? Yeah, there's one deep in the woods near St. Ark and another in the middle of Avon Hills. And we know exactly where to go. I'm sorry to waste our time with all this. I know we have other things to do. Well, it's not life threatening in any case. Just keep it in mind for me, okay? Hmm. Certain locations are blocked off. Separate slot. Hmm. Something's wrong here. Huh, Reen, are you alright? Wasn't there a teleportation stone linked to the Aaron village just ahead? There was, yeah. Without a doubt, something unusual is going on. This presence I'm picking up on doesn't sit right with me. We should go into this fully prepared. Investigate. Her Elise, Her Highness, this could be dangerous. I'll take the lead here. Watch my back, okay? Right. Where are we up against here? We'll find out soon enough. You just focus on staying safe. Would they have appeared on the other side as well? Goodness me! It's just like what we saw before in the Pentagroll. An Orbo ship and enhanced Jaegers. It's possible- oh. They couldn't have attacked both teleportation points, could they? What do they need a teleportation stone for? It might be the same case with the other teleportation stone. They're, they're, they split their forces? Then we need to get so, a, a second team over to Ismia Great Forest. I'm convinced this whole anomaly points to something wrong in Eren. It'd be wise to return to Courageous 2 for now and get our intel. Got it. Let's withdraw back to the safe zone. We'll summon our ship in stealth mode. After not reading the others returned to the ship, as they were working to gather information, they managed to contact the others. As a result, they determined the other teleportation stone was also under the control of the enhanced Jaegers. It was presumed that those in Aaron Village were being suppressed somehow. What the hell is going on? The society shouldn't have time to pull a stunt like this. What are they thinking? You're right, Ouroboros is sure to prioritize carrying out its ultimate plan. As such, you think they would be focused on Crossbow since the Steel Maiden is there, but... Right, I'm fairly certain this is a do-or-die moment for Ouroboros as well. Especially since it seems they're fighting against the Church and the air groups all over the continent at the moment. Then again, even though Ouroboros looks logical, some of their guys fool around way too much. Jern and Doovy probably know all about that. If you can't say my name right, then just don't say it at all. Right, Ouroboros is unique in that a chain of command such as one you might see in a state-run organization does not exist. All plans are ultimately under the discretion of the ang uh, Anguis. It's by their request that enforcers and the units under them operate. Well, the enforcers are free to decide if they will operate in response to said requests. There are probably lots of cases of illogical amusement like these that work their way in. It's a little mystery how the society has managed to last so long. The enhanced Jaegers aren't the same as the normal sort, are they? Right. There are some that use their talents to work their way into the Jaeger Corps, but they're different. They're usually former soldiers and mercenaries, taken in under contract and used as disposable pawns. There's even a mechanism that can strengthen the body and reset the memory within the contracted period. Reset their memory? What? What? Well, they did seem a bit strange now that you mention it. So I guess if they get kicked out, they, they reset their memory so they can't leak any intel? Reminds me of the members of Jester. They were the ones who carried out the raid in the Erebonian guild branches four years ago. They were suppressed and captured, but none of them remembered who hired them or gave them orders when they were questioned. It's fairly, fairly disturbing if you ask me. It also lines up with the rumors regarding the Faceless and his ability to manipulate memory. 
Probably a lot of shady stuff going on behind the scenes. In any case, they seem to lack the basic decencies and honors of true warriors. Yeah, I don't want them lumped in with real Jaegers. But Gilbert seems a bit different, doesn't he? He does not seem to... Uh, yeah, well, he did help out once in Phantasma. Even if, he, if he does end up getting fired, would he just go back to being a corrupt a politician type? So the ex-secretary of Ruan pledged himself to Ouroboros as the regimental commander of an enhanced Yager corpse. Just something I heard from Estelle, but you know him too, right? Back when unusual events began occurring in Liberal, he caused his fair share of trouble. He occupied the Royal Academy during the chaos of the Orbal shutdown too. I can't exactly put my finger on it, but there's something here that feels familiar. It's highly possible, isn't it? Aside from the Sanguine Ogre, it seems the Anguist and Enforcers are headed for Crossbell. No more debating, let's just start dishing out punishment. It's for everyone in Erin Village and the Yaris too. We've got the f favors to repay. Yeah, let's sort them up. They'll get the message across that we never want to see this shit again. Still, I can't believe Erin Village lost to Gilbert. Hmm, let's take care of this ahead of time then, before heading the crossbell. With the personnel we have here, I think we'll be able to take care of it in short order. You guys. Thank you. Everyone's help would truly be greatly appreciated, truly. The telepathic communication of the village is not working at the moment. Someone is interfering with it somehow. Looks like we need a detailed plan quickly. Elise, your highness, we need your help too. Of course. Alright everyone, let's begin devising our plan of action. So, do we have to control two teams again? And so, Operation Free Erin was hurriedly outlined, designed to fully utilize the Courageous 2. Beast, Sh Sarah, Sharon, and Alcina would investigate the combat abilities of the Enhanced Jaegers beforehand. Meanwhile, Emma, Selene, Musate, and Gaius would work their magic to peer into the barriers in her state. And two teams would be formed to act as a diversion for the Jaeger station in front of the two teleportation stones. Emma and Selene would create a break in the barrier, allowing the team led by Reen to power through and free the village. The team breaking through the barrier would also be joined by one of their contacts. So do we have to organize the team, son? I don't like this. We should have gotten we should have got permission from an anguist or enforcer before heading out. The commander is such a sucker for grandstanding. Yeah, and it always comes back to bite him. He's a real loss. He's a cause that one. So I guess you've got to give credit where credit's due. He doesn't flake out no matter how rough it gets. From what, from what I've heard, orders this time around are pr coming from pretty high up. You know who wants to test out these new devices as soon as possible? Test out devices, Novartis. Yeah, no surprise there. Man, I get he's an anguist and all, but he sure loves to put us through the ringer. Ooh, now this is getting juicy. Care to tell me some more? You're the Purple Lightning! She's got those four French campus kids with her too. Oh, you remembered us. I'm touched. What do you think you're doing? You, you really got the time to waste on something like this while the world, entire world's in trouble? I swear in the better name, we won't let you hold the people of Eren prisoner any longer. Oh, I hope... You'll pardon the fact that we're coming at you with forces far outnumbering your own. Clem Elias, Arcadius Mode. We've got the field advantage, we can do this. Let me show off the skills I've been sharpening up. Yeah. What do you take us for? Arcadisms, Formation D. Let's show these kids what real soldiers can do. Yeah. Severing Eclipse in the Swift 2. I thought you were headed to Crossbell. So sorry to disturb you during your looting. We appreciate you ceasing your activities, if you please. Well, good luck with that. Activate the Arcade Zone. Contact the main troop. We need to buy more time. Huh, as if we'd let you. Old Class 7 is here. We'll keep the village safe, safe from the likes of you and carve out a path for Reen and the others. Ex et spirit rex spiritum agrum et impetu rapir. King of spirits, rent space asunder. Hot damn, your skills are legit, woman. 
It's amazing what a genuine wish can do. Magic and herbal arts really are quite different, aren't they? A warp you there. You should appear right at the St. Grawl entrance. The callus or the barrier looks to be three objects that have been placed inside. If we can neutralize them, then everyone should be able to pass through unimpeded. Understood. That stupid desk jockey, I swear. He's way overdue for a firm backhand. Military monsters, archaisms, and a powerful unidentified presence ahead. Reen, may Adios protect you all. You too, Oliver. Take care of yourself out there. But of course. Oh shoot, I'm gonna have to... I don't want to have two Minotaurus users at the same time, actually. I need to think of something for Randy. Alright, here we are. This is the Phase 1 entrance. You and the others came here for a remote training session. Excellent, we're making progress one step at a time. Are you sure you'll be okay, Olivier? Yeah, aren't you supposed to take it easy until you fully recover? Shara and Mueller aren't going to be happy about this. Yes, that's why I asked my dependable allies to accompany me. If I was informed, there'd have been no need, I assure you. I appreciate that you found the time, what of your busy schedules and whatnot. Yes, especially Aga and Tio. Isn't it a busy period for the guild and the foundation? It isn't unmanageable. Besides, I had this some business to take care of in this area. Same here. Miles contacted me and asked me to head over to Legram. Well, we're really happy you're here. We'll find that regimental commander in the village and teach him a lesson. The villagers' safety is top priority. Agreed. Let's head out. Olivia will be following you. He won't participate in battle, but, but you'll be able to use his orders. Huh, I need to think about my party. Everyone has been kicked out except for you guys. So which of you have editable stuff? Hmm. Okay, let's head out. Someone's gonna attack us right when we get down. Where do you guys come from? What happened to the barrier? Were you hiding in the labyrinth the whole time? Don't be an idiot. You think we're the type to set up camp in the labyrinth? Or which friends have certain unique abilities? There aren't a lot of you, huh? This will be easy. We are prepared to attack. Notify the regimental commander. Aeon system activate. Orbital gear free in standby mode. Feast your eyes on my improvised performance. Ugh, so this is the power of the Ashen Chevalier, the Heavy Blade, and the Red Reaper. They've got the Foundation Girl and the ZCF Mech too. We're at a serious advantage. The enemies were neutralized. They were better than I expected. Yes, it seems their abilities were enhanced, perhaps through hypnosis and focused training. It certainly is certainly within Ouroboros' capabilities. Enhanced or not, they can't link on their feet. That's where we've got the upper hand. Let's help continue to continue the village. Don't lag behind, Tita. Coming. Me too. Yuri Woods. Ashen Chevalier starred a spotted. Engaging target. Doesn't look like we can talk our way out of this one. We won't be able to, we beat we won't we beat here. Scanning surroundings. It seems there are archaisms in the vicinity. I'm also picking up on other other unusual signals. That may be worth checking out. Perhaps that's what Emma was talking about. Let's head to the teleportation zone that goes to the village. We'll take care of any archaisms on the way. Are there actually enemy symbols? Hmm. Okay, what if we try to head to here? Will they block us off? This isn't the teleportation zone for Eren. Yeah, that one should be on the other side. Just head to the green one. Oh, I see an archaism. 
Well, that one looks tough. Don't let your guard oh boy. down. Hey yeah! Threat level high. I'm up. Crimson break. Let's go. Roar! Uh, healing strike! Got it! Hmm. Yeah! They're off guard! An opening! Yes. Did it! There! An opening! Let's go! Let's go! Oh, sure, I accidentally didn't mean to do that. Why can't he attack it? He's gonna start going to edge. This is so weird. It's because he can't get past Rena and Randy, is that it? That's dumb. There! Now! An opening! Got it! Hmm. There we go. go. Let's keep attacking with Reen like this. They're off guard. An opening. Let's go. Hmm. Demi Gunner activate. Absolute zero. Break. An opening! What? Hmm. Do have any impedes? Anything worth... No. I'm just gonna use a bell scope real quick. There! Knocked him right in the next week! Well, uh, Arg, well, we don't need this right now. Guess we're garage, but they look like the newer models than the ones they use in Liberal. Why didn't the teleportation stone take us to the village? Someone must have tampered with it to disable the teleport function. It may be related to what Emma was talking about. Let's search the vicinity to see what we can find. What's that red object there? Another suspicious device. Tio, take a look at this. This seems to be the contraption which interfered with the protective barrier. The end system activates, scanning the target. How did it even get in here? Was there a mole? Maybe uh, Maria Bell placed it here last time? Huh? That's Tio Ta's specialty. Analysis complete. This is a very complex device. It sinks with orbital energy fields and hacks into them. I see, so it's jamming the village's barrier. Meaning it will be fixed if we disable this device. There are three in total. In order to restore the barrier to its normal function, all three must be deactivated. The destroying this one should at least allow us to reactivate the teleporter. Sounds like a plan. This should do it, right? Alright, you got it. 
Eh, nice job, Tita. No, you're the one who figured it out. You know, this device reminds me of the ones my grandpa invented. They were designed to shut off the effects of the Oriole during the Orville shutdown. Yeah, that does ring a bell. No, th this is no Vardis's work. But... Uh, what, what what are they called? Zero field generators? They allow us to use the, uh, the use of Ormans to spike the shutdown, yes? Yep, they cancel out the effects of the Orville shutdown. This device here does the exact opposite. It generates a field which restricts the use of Orville energy. So Ouroboros is twisting Professor Russell's invention for their own plans. Yeah, it's not the first time they pulled this either. I think I know who's responsible for this. We we'll definitely confirm rumors that there's an engineering prodigy in Ouroboros' ranks. Well, where we cross them or not, we need to get to the village. Right, let's focus on that for now. The diversion team is doing a fine job, no doubt, but we ought to make our move swiftly. He'll probably get attacked the moment we enter the village. And I can't put emblem on my on the uh, characters of locked setup, so that kind of sucks. Damn it! The, those courageous two rats caught wind of us, and just when we had the chance to take this village down, while the crimson witch is out of the way. They're holed up in that... Uh, in the inn. I can't believe the Air Witches managed to conjure a barrier that powerful. Of all the run, run luck. We can't take hostages and solve for time or anything. Are we that at that much of a dead end? So that's what happens if you don't go to rescue the village. They might have been able to take care of it themselves. Regimental Commander, your orders? We have word that another party has infiltrated the place. We'll have to retreat. Retreat? Think again. We were sent here by the Sixth Anguist, Professor Novartis. That means something. But the others had to cross spell, now's our chance to take the initiative and show up what we can do. Let's bring our toys out to play in the third and, uh, second and third sectors. I want to keep them in reserve, but we've been left no choice. Roger that. Begin weapon transfer, correct? Uh, correct, the, one from, the ones from the workshop. Affirmative, fight to your very last breath. Alright, this should buy some time. We'll have to deal with these intruders properly. New no better to get the job done than me and my perfect ace in the hall. Gonna have an even stronger Apache. All right, that should do it. Wait, everyone, get back! My sub object detected, it's teleporting in. Oh no, are we gonna have to do sold out battles? Is that a Hannibal? It looks just like the Hector model it's based on. They must have borrowed it from the Black Workshop. Oh shoot, I, the, I don't think this team has sold out, so they might be screwed. No, they have Ordine. They'll be fine. Ordine can handle this. You annoying pests. Bro, what's going on with the Divine Knight? It's no use. Telepathic channels are blocked. Are you serious? Looks like we have no one to count on by ourselves. But Altina can put them in stealth mode, so shouldn't she... Maybe she might be... Maybe her side of things can still get it sold out. Is that a magical barrier? It is, but it doesn't seem to be Ouroboros is doing. Watch out! Ha, huh, bring it on! Everyone ready? It's my turn! I'm up! Here I go! You're done for! Eat this! Better Better man. Man. Knocked him right into next week! Uh, 
All right, let's turn into the rest of them. We've got to look out for any villagers around. Their protection is our top priority. I'll take care of any barrier generators. Can we head out for the finale then? Something in the middle. Hmm. So hoping I could attack it with my fuel attack, but I guess not. Look right there. Can you get, uh, get to working on it, Tita? Yes, you can count on me. That's two, then just one more. Before that, we've got some company to deal with. It's a lot. So now we just head over there. Snook him with an S craft again. When they mentioned the six anguists, I had a sick feeling in the pit of my stomach. The regimental commanders are uh, all too happy to bend over backwards to the place the anguists. Ah, so it is Gilbert then, just as I suspected. So where's your regimental commander anyway? Array on the retreat? Save your breath, we're not about to share any info with the enemy. And even if we wanted to, our tongues are straight up tied. They're screwed with our heads. That could only mean mind control by high level hypnosis. Man, it makes me almost feel sorry for these guys. Well, if you're not planning to get out of our way, we'll just, we're just gonna have to cut right through you. You're about to eat your words. One taste of our superhuman strength when you'll be begging for mercy. Huh? Just just now, wasn't that? The Northern Jaegers? Why are they helping? What are you guys doing here? Isn't it obvious? We're here to repair debt. Our contract with Erebonia is officially up. We can grant you guys as much support as we want now. Even Needhog? Needhog. Well, well, what brings you here, my lovely little drakes? Been a while, Ragnar girl. You help with the airship, so we're here to pay the favor. Oh, so that's why. I like to say we're doing just fine without your help, but let's be realistic. Your, your assistance will definitely ex expedite the process. Thank you. I'm so, so sorry. These guys stuck in somehow while it was my turn managing the barrier. It's all my fault. Don't berate yourself, dear. We've all let our guards down after the hundreds of years our village has passed without threat. And judging by the timing, they were waiting right on rows to leave to get their nerve to strike. Well, now, now that's said and done, it's good to see you're all still safe. The impenetrable barrier spell of yours was incredible to say the least. Those are some kind words, but we, but we barely just scraped by. All of us put uh, the Gara couldn't do any more than protect ourselves. We have our gratitude for all the help you've given us, but there are still other wretched contraptions wandering the area. Oh, speaking of that, do you have an idea where the third device they brought in might be? Well, I saw them carrying something to the clearing outside the village, so that might be it. Really? We better get on that then. A wonderful run to Gilbert over in those parts. Sounds like we've got our work cut out for us. Security exits from the village. Emma should join you soon. Got it. Take care of yourselves. Oh, and this is for you. Go on, drink it. One last heal. What's going on here? This is why I hate this kind of work. Oof, you're not going to get us to talk. Just save your breath. You won't get any information out of us. Alright, so we're surrounding right? I wouldn't really see us as POW, so... We're just supposed to be sacrificed when the time comes. That's all we are to them. How'd you get s uh, end up with them in the first place? This is the worst. But we weren't messing with some ordinary village, I suppose. These folks are related to the second anguish, after all. Can't believe it. Our calm little village ha has really been invaded. You can put some of the blame on our carelessness, but our enemies are cunning too, no doubt about that. I'm counting on you guys here. We've got to drive out the remaining ones. I was worried about the store would be torn apart, so I gave it a look. To my relief, it seems my collection of band ring material is still safe and sound. 
they have uh, uh, any idea how valuable this stuff is? Where in the world was the gold behind trying to gain control of the village? Are you bummed out they didn't loot you? Their goal doesn't really matter, though, does it? Let's hurry up and take down the remaining members. I'm so sorry. If I had been more thorough with the barrier, then this never w would have never... This isn't your responsibility alone. We're just as much to blame for our negligence and carelessness. I've got to apologize to a lot of you for dragging you into fighter battles. No apologies necessary. You've been a major help to us our, yourselves. We've only just started paying back the favor. I really appreciate you saying that. We're counting you to take care of the rest of those Ouroboros guys. When I saw those Ouroboros guys, I could just tell they were from the outside world and got super excited. But it turns out not everyone from the outside is so, so, other, other side is so nice. Some are downright awful. I guess deep down I already knew that. Still shocked to actually see it come true though. I use the barrier to bind the rest of those brutes up nice and tight and toss them in the storehouse. And they won't be going anywhere anytime soon. You could give them a sentry and they still wouldn't have budged their reach. That's, um, you wishes never fail to impress. Master put up a really tight barrier around those Jaegers to restrain them. That should definitely keep them from freeing themselves, but I don't think they can even move a muscle. That's a bit overboard, isn't it? Sounds like they're already being raked over the coals, huh? Also, some equipment I've never seen before was moved to the clearing outside the village. Please be careful out there. Loki protected me when all those bad guys showed up. But why? I was so mean to you and I still haven't even apologized. So you don't hate me, Loki? You, Q. You're happy, just happy that I'm safe and sound? Thanks, Loki. You're the best. You. There's a lot of details I may be missing here, but it looks like they patched things up well enough. I don't see a hint of resentment between the two of them. I think I'll choose to ignore the fact that she seems to understand monster speak. Same here. Besides, we ought to head to the clearing before it's too late. I never in a million years would have imagined that the village barrier could descend to this state. Even Noah is in danger. Orobo seems like a dangerous bunch, I'll tell you that. I've heard plenty about their exploits from the Elder. Though I can't imagine that too many of them are still running loose here. I can't predict what awaits you, so you should proceed with utmost caution, got it? Of course, you can trust that things are in capable hands. Feels like things are finally coming to a head. Let's finish this. Right here. Alright. Make sure Reen has Emblem on his main slot. <laughs> I expected to see Class 7, but who's this with them? Reen Schwarzer, the Action Chevalier, in the flesh. I suppose I should introduce myself. You see, I've already gotten to know your dear students rather well. Enhanced Jaeger Regiment Commander Gilbert Stein, if I'm not mistaken. Yuna, Ash, and Estelle had quite a bit to say about you. Oh, I'm sure. Is that Miss Russell I spot over there? I'm pleased to see you've kept the same smuck about you. Agat Krasner. And Prince Oliver. My condolences for all they've gone through. Gilbert. Thanks for concern and all. Might be nicer if you really meant it. Has it truly been three years since we last met in Phantasma, Gilbert? With all our trials and tribulations, it feels like eons ago. Up to the same shenanigans as always, I see. And you've really climbed up the ladder as well, haven't you? You bet I have. I went from Chief Warrant Officer to Regimental Commander in our time apart. Now I've received orders directly from Professor Novartis of Six Anguis. He has sent me here to test his null field generator. You're telling me this was all that crazy old geezer's idea. So it's a ripoff of Professor Russell's invention. No, it'd be more accurate to call a modified version. At any rate, there's a little doubt that this generator was used to take control of Aaron's barrier. And now we know that's unrelated to the phantasmal blaze plan that the other Inguists are working toward. I must warn you, Gilbert, we will use any means necessary to stop you if you make any further moves to harm this village. Uh, uh, right, the test is all well and done now, and we should uh, be uh, right on our way out of here. But then again, doing just the bare minimum isn't going to land me any pr more promotions, is it? Like we care, get lost already. Gilbert's always had this ambitious streak for better or worse. Man, just pack up and go while we're still giving you the chance. 
I don't think I will. In fact, I was planning to attack you all along. I still thought something like that on the pentagroll. This, this, another of their, those new and improved mechanical menaces? Haha, <laughs> so what do you think? Makes for quite an impression, doesn't it? Now is just the right time to slip in one more experiment for Professor Novartis. Get ready, here comes the most powerful land weapon in all of Erebonia. The what? That's a bold claim to make. Be extremely cautious, this weapon far exceeds the capabilities of Panzer Soldats. A tank? You've gotta be kidding me! An oxen? That's the Imperial Army's most powerful tank. It looks like it was modified too. No way, it's unmanned? This thing's completely all a mag. It's the C-Unit technology from the Imperial Liberation Front. Damn it, is this the same kind of tank that's been deploying Crestball? Its firepower and endurance are incomparably higher than anything we've seen before. It's more like the tank Canone used during the Uprising. No, it surpasses even that. Not even Panzer Sola has stand a chance against this thing. That's some metal monster. And with the jamming device in operation, you can kiss call calling your Divine Knight goodbye, Mr. Ashton Chevalier. So that's the ace up my sleeve. Your move now. Risk level at maximum. We'll need some top tier teamwork to overcome this. Roger that. Hey, I guess I gotta show my real stuff here. Or we'll get free in standby mode. Aeon system, commence overdrive. I will show you no mercy, Gilbert. And to the rest of you, I lend my full support. My arts are yours. I'll wipe the floor with you! Yeah, this is a bad situation. I have a feeling those guys are going to get a lot of turns because of how slow my characters are, so maybe I should put up an Eon Shield the moment Randy gets to a chance to move. Arcus, activate! Yeah. Here I go! Cast La Forte. Here I go! No, I think Chrono Drive would be more efficient first. I don't know. Arcus, activate! I need speed for my weaker members. Eat this! It's my turn! <sighs> my turn! <sighs> my turn! Arcus, activate! You're finished! It's my turn! Okay. We need to do something about this tank. I have to break it with Reen if I want to get its second drop. Two drops. Two of its gems. I'm up! Okay. I didn't have to save enough it's my turn. for uh, agates. Roar! Uh, healing strike! It's down! Gotcha! There! Let's go. Hmm. Oh! 
Semi Gunner activate! Absolute zero! Ugh. Oh, AT delayed one of them a little bit. Not by much. Okay, I actually want to be careful. Reen needs to be the one to break this thing. If I use heat up, I think Reen will have enough. Arcus activate! There! Boom. Give me the drop. Give me the goodies. Eat this. Got it. A call a gem, huh? My turn. Okay, Crimson Break. I want to break Gilbert as well so I can start dealing some more damage. Here I go! 4S plus, let's do it. About time I got this. Okay. Do this. One down. Yes. Now we analyze you. Beginning it. Here I go. Ha! Oh. They're off guard. And oh. opening. Yes. It's my turn! Okay, my my buff runs out next turn, huh? Roar! Healing <laughs> uh, strike! Uh, now! Follow up! Uh, impossible! It's not over yet! Not by a long shot! <laughs> My turn! Okay, I should probably go give Reen a Curia. Thanks. How do you like this? You. what? You turn. weren't even damaged. Okay, this is. Still not the most favorable situation, though. Ow. Let's go. Crit me. Arcus, activate. I'm up. <sighs> My turn. Arcus, activate. Yeah. Let's go. Okay, I'm just gonna go whack him with a spell. No, I should scan, scan, scan. Beginning and out. Got it! Okay, now everyone just 
I, I just curb stomp him or something. I don't know. Yeah. Now's our chance. An opening. I'm up. Hmm. Do this. It's my turn. Fatal Helix. Roar. <laughs> uh, Helix strike. Uh, it's down. Gotcha. Uh, All right. You're protected. Let's go. Anything here impedes Blade Zanber? Ready? Yeah. There. And it. Oh, I should use it on the. My mind. I should use it on the seventh turn. Uh. My turn. Get him. Do this first. Got it. Easier just having whack with Reen, actually. Yeah. Oh. Now's our chance. An oh. opening. Yes. I'm not, should I even let him have the chance to use his ultimate attack? Hope you're ready. You for this. I got some good data. Yes, double a drop. <laughs> nice. Actually, I got two brave souls to drop too. Nice. <laughs> Level up. Now that I ever use them, I'll have to remember to use them for the final battle. Are you serious? That was just my trump card, but also the most powerful tank in history. It, would be, it should be impossible for you to so much as scratch it. Pant, you don't give your us bracers enough credit, pal. No, not that it was a walk in the park. Things might have turned out ugly without you, Teotot. We're just lucky with arts, that arts work on the machine. I barely used arts on it, though. I just brute forced it with demon power. I'd like to thank my, I, I'd like to thank my orbital gear gave, helped give us an edge, too. You put up a tough fight, but now it's over. Are you going to accept your defeat with grace, or will you rather go the hard way, Gilbert? The Courageous 2 does have detention barracks, so we can provide you suitable accommodation. Grr. It's not over yet. There's still the boost feature I haven't tried, although it might make the tank uncontrollable. That's quite enough. What? Was it Rosalia? Oh! Glad to see you made it, Emma. You broke through the barrier. We finally managed somehow. I keep your d distance of you, Emma. Uh, uh, ew. Emma's really on the warpath this time. You may as well consider me the same. Ma, you do have a lot of nerve targeting my very hometown, don't you? Eep, uh... I didn't expect to see you here, Rose Vida. About time. Talk about showing up right the last second. I would have come sooner had the advice of an army members not kept my hands tied. Looks like I can't leave my village without some sly fox trying to sneak in and cause mischief. Eek! Oh boy, nothing feels as scalding as the wrath of beautiful women. Particularly when said beautiful women are top-class witches. 
I almost feel sorry for Gilbert. Don't. You make your bed, you, your, you make your bed and all that, right? I figured you were up to something, but I was hoping it wasn't something like this. Mr. Campanella. Great, now the fool shows up. Nothing better to do than stir up crap, eh? I can't say I'm surprised to learn of your involvement in this, Campanella. Oh, I should have stepped in a teensy bit earlier, huh? Too bad I was so, just so unbelievably busy. Little Gilby, I never would have pegged you as one to take advantage of the professor's ego like this and blatantly disregard your orders. Looks to me you need some discipline, or you might not be worth keeping anymore. Eek! I specifically told you to keep tabs on the village. Not once did I tell you to invade it. I seem to recall having this exact same conversation with you four years ago. I beg your forgiveness, Master Campanella! I won't do it ever again! I swear! Tremble. I suppose I could find it in me to look past this one. Will the others forgive little Gilby? That's the real question. You'll need to apologize, that's clear. And you'll also need to swear in the Grandmaster's name to never again meddle with this village. Really? That's reasonable, I'd say. It may not sound like much, but to the society... Uh, but to the society's members, such a vow is invaluable. You would know of Ouroboros' unwritten rules, wouldn't you, Vida? Well, I have no objections. If you get out of my sight at once and take that idiot with you. Your generosity knows no bounds, Alder. Well then, see you around, Vita. Give my regards to all the other witches we stirred up trouble for. Dorzer, your highness, always a pleasure. <laughs> Under Campanello's orders, the tank wreckage and archaisms were removed from the village. The Class 7 members and their allies who had been engaging in diversionary tactics safely reconvened in Erin. In celebration, Rosalia hosted a modest banquet and invited the whole village. Four students enjoyed the fair in hot springs to the fullest, and were raptured by the curious sights and scenery of the village. Tio and Agate went off to rendezvous with friends, and Vita returned to the Panagrol. The rest of the team headed back to their ship. Free Erin completed, Mars gem obtained. Additional buying event of Elise has been added. You know, I need to reorganize everything. Character note added for Agate. Okay, I need to head back to Eren real quick. Yuna, Musa, Altina, and Tita. Reading the Earths enjoyed the hot springs and took their time resting in the village. Ah, uh, what a relief. I was so tensed up and worried for a while there. Yeah, I hear you. I'm just glad we were able to get through this without any major incidents. Agreed. Excellent work, everyone. Uh, well, I can't say I pitched in very much. It was Agan and Olivier who really saved the day, and a lot of credit has to go to Instructor Randy and Tio, too. Tita, your diversionary tactics were perfect. They were the key to the whole operation coming together. And Princess Alpin, Elise, we couldn't have done it without the support you two and Toa gave us. I'm just glad we were able to help out. After all this village has done for you, Reen, I wanted to repay the favor in some way. Right, right. Wait a second. Since we're all here, why don't we chat about something more interesting? Girls talk secrets, exciting things. And of course we'll have Reen as our guest of honor. Oh, uh, your highness. Alright, alright, I'm clearly the odd man out amongst this group. 
At least it's one thing, but with all of you here, I'm just going to turn in early, okay? Green? They're used to showing a bath of Elise? Or, well, I guess that makes sense. It's not a big deal for family to vape in a hot, in a hot spring back to get back where you're from. Well, then why not just think of the rest of us as your family too? Your newly acquired sisters. That suggestion doesn't entirely sit well with me. Uh... Hey, come on, Ring. Won't, won't it be nice? Right, at the very least, we can try and make you blush. The link of it is just in our mission. We won't get too radical, Instructor, but maybe you could really use a good shock or two. Even you, Yuna? Let's all try... just try to take... Uh, try and take things down a notch. Alright, knock it off now, you guys. You know how clueless cool he can be. Reen, honestly, you make me so mad sometimes for just going along with whatever I just want. What do you mean? Reen's situation is looking a little dicey, but you reap what you sow. And don't tell your mother. I do know how Elise feels, though. If someone were tr to try that on Agate when we had a rare chance to be alone together... Thanks for tuning in to this Let's Play of The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel 4. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.